Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one trick that I really love to use when working with a hyperactive dog to help them calm down. All right, so this training tool may seem counterintuitive, but it works, I promise. Let's give it a try. This one thing can actually regain your dog's attention and help calm your dog's hyperactivity. What is this one thing? It is a simple tug toy. So one of the things that people have a hard time with, with positive reinforcement training is that you do use food oftentimes as a reward. What people often fail to do is slow down those food rewards and eventually switch, what we want to do is stop the food rewards and switch over to a different type of reward. A tug toy is a perfect way to switch from food rewards to another type of reward. One of the reasons that a tug toy works so well is that you can actually use it out in public and not gain other dogs attention, but also it is very interactive. So your dog is getting to get their energy out and they're getting one-on-one -on -one play with you. They're getting your attention. Those are all positive reinforcers for your dog. Those are all rewards for your dog. Also, I find, and really many other people find as well, when your dog is up here, when they are super hyper or they are super stressed out or um, agitated, maybe you are working with a reactive dog, right? Food is the last thing on your dog's mind. And you'll notice this because when we are training our dog, and if you've gone through the beginner dog training series, if you haven't, the link is in my link tree. Definitely go check it out. It is absolutely free to you. One of the things we work on in the beginner dog training series is moving outside. This can be very difficult. And it's something that we do with all of the cues we train, whether it's a sit or a stay or a come, or you know, just even when we train walking, we actually train walking inside before we go outside. And moving outside, there are so many distractions. And when you move outside, you're, you're gonna find your dog may not pay any attention to that food reward. It's very, very possible your dog is not gonna pay any, there's just too much going on, too many distractions, their energy level is too high, maybe they're too anxious, they're just trying to take too much in. Adding that food in is just something they're not gonna be able to pay attention to. But a tug toy, on the other hand, is going to help alleviate a lot of that stress and anxiety and get their attention back on you. So a tug toy is actually a perfect replacement for food as a reward. Like I said, a tug toy keeps your dog close in close proximity to you and completely focused on you. So if there are other dogs around, like I was saying before, you're not going to attract other dogs. If you're using food, you may attract other dogs to you. And if you have a reactive dog, that is a big no-no, right? Also, even if you don't have a reactive dog, you could, especially if some strange dog starts coming up, you could trigger some resource guarding in your dog and possibly even the other dog. So we definitely don't want to, if we can avoid using food outside at all, that's great. But especially when we have a hyperactive dog or especially if we have a reactive dog, a tug toy is gonna be the perfect replacement. One of the best ways to use a tug toy is to get your dog to come to you. And then once they have successfully come over to you, we're gonna ask them to sit and stay. Right, and then we're gonna practice some patience. We're gonna have them watch. We're, we want them focused on us. Now, if they can successfully do that, and this is something you have to work with, on with your dog, of course, but if they can successfully do that, then we can engage them with the tug toy. Now, this is especially good for hyperactive dogs because we are focusing their activity, that hyperactive energy, on that tug toy. A great way to use a tug toy in a real life scenario is this. If you're out walking and say you have a reactive dog or just that your dog wants to you know, get at and play with another dog, right? Instead of letting your dog lunge and jump and bark, when you notice the other dog, you take two steps back in the other direction. Ask your dog to sit and stay and focus on you. As soon as they do that, then you have the ability to get that tug toy out. It is not going to 
that tug toy is not going to attract attention of any other dogs around you, which is good, but it is going to get your dog's attention and it's going to engage your dog on you. Your dog is focused on you and not anything else. And you can engage and play for as long as you want or need to. Practice this as often as necessary, especially if you have a hyperactive dog, because the, the key here is that when you are playing tug with your dog, you are in control of their energy and you are in control of how they express that energy. So playing tug is one of the best things you can do as part of a training routine. If you have a hyperactive dog, if you have a reactive dog, really any dog at all it's great for but especially if you have a hyperactive dog or a reactive dog playing tug is a great way to let your dog get out that energy to release that steam that energy that your dog has at a time that is convenient for you it is an incredibly powerful tool for teaching engagement and focus and most importantly impulse control and as i said before it is incredibly incredibly powerful if you have a hyperactive dog or if you have a reactive dog. It is inc an incredibly powerful tool to get your dog to focus on you and not what's going on around them. Now, as with anything else, again, like I said, if you haven't gone through the beginner dog training series, definitely check that out. The link is in my link tree, which you can find in the description below. You want to build up distance, duration, and with distraction. So you're gonna start out probably inside of your house, maybe move to, to your backyard, but we're going to slowly build distraction, right? So that your dog can focus on you and play tug with you in increasingly distracting environments. So again, using positive reinforcement training with your dog is all about science, right? We know that it is the best way to train with our dogs. Um, I do want to quickly remind you, if you are not already a patron, if you are not following me on Patreon, the link is in the description. I highly recommend you check it out. If you are a pet parent, I post all new and exclusive pet parent content over there. You get a lot of behind the scenes stuff and more like into my life as a dog mom, as a cat mom, as a pet parent, as a dog trainer, you get a lot more like about me. You also get access to Discord so we can actually talk and communicate back and forth as well as with other pet parents just like you. So I do hope you check me out there. Also, I hope you give this video a thumbs up and look down there at the subscribe button. I hope you are subscribed. If you are, it'll be gray. If you're not, it'll be red. If it's red, you need to click it. I hope you share my channel with others as well because my goal for 2021 is to get this channel to 25,000 subscribers and I cannot do it without your help. Guys, thank you so much for being here. If you have any comments, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I do hope to see you over on Patreon as well. And try this out with your hyperactive dog or your reactive dog. You're going to see a huge difference in them. If you need help with it, let me know. I'm here. Oh, I'm on Patreon. You can definitely reach out to me there. I hope this helps you out, guys. I can't wait to see you in our next video. Until then, bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.